Ian challenge. <laughs> and it was Ian's team that won in the end. But it was Kelly who was told she would not be Pete's PA. I'm going to put myself forward doesn't necessarily mean I'll be the week's PA, but she just didn't seem that ambitious. She didn't seem like she really wanted to be here. Kelly just voted herself out. I don't think she would have been a, a P, Peter PA. You can just see it. It made it really real today, going in and actually losing one of the ten contestants. It's 8.50am and celebrity PA Donna Cooling arrives at the house, ready for business. When Donna arrived in the morning, there were still people asleep and hadn't, well, they weren't, weren't ready yet, so she went basically straight upstairs to uh, sort them out. It's time to be downstairs, ready to go. Ten minutes. I've got ten minutes. I want to see you downstairs, ready to go. Oh. Hi. Nice lighting. Yeah. Johnny, good. <laughs> Lucky you. I wish I'd had one. Ten minutes downstairs, ready to go, Dad. I couldn't believe it. Donna walked in and I was still lying in bed. I was mean, absolutely mortified. Ten minutes later, and the wannabe PAs have managed to get to the front room to meet with Donna. Fashion and styling is an important part of Pete's life. As his PA, you need to be aware of his sense of style because you'll often be running around picking up stuff for him. Today, we've brought in a celebrity stylist all the way from New York to give you fashion advice. So if you'd like to make your way into the garden and go and find Patty. Oh! I really, really love fashion styling, so it was really exciting that we were going to meet a top stylist all the way from LA. Hi everyone, Hi. I'm Patty. Trujillo, I'm a celebrity stylist. I've worked with Kirsten Dunst, Ed Burns, Jennifer Lopez, and more dominantly, the last three seasons, I was one of the main costume designers for Sex in the City. Um, I'm here to discuss celebrity style. Uh, specifically, part of your job as a PA to work with Pete Burns is to make sure that he's able to maintain a image, personal style that it's taken him years and a lot of energy to develop. All right, so I've got a rack here of clothes. These are all examples of items that you could pull from for Pete for his wardrobe. I'm just going to grab something and try to get a reaction from you as to what you think. Um, why don't you tell me what you think about either of these items? Um, I think you've got some very good pattern structure there, but I'm not necessarily thinking that I would take it as it is. I might chop and change it a bit. I think the jacket has potential, the dress, no, nothing, no. Now why don't we talk about something like this? You know, I'm pulling yeah, two yeah. things here, not necessarily together. Frock, definitely. What do you think? Frock. With, with the gingham check, I think that could certainly be used as almost cowboy chic, and it could certainly be adapted to a couple of an outfit. Take the sleeves off, would you? The sleeves off yeah, the shirt? Yeah, maybe the collar off the shirt, slash the dress somehow. But yeah, that move more in keeping, not together. Right, right. But yeah, definitely. But I mean, these are two more in the style of Pete Burns, definitely. This next task is about seeing what my PA would wear to accompany me to a premiere or a major showbiz event. And what I'm looking for is somebody who can look elegant and stylish, sometimes a little quirky, but never upstage me. You have five minutes to put an outfit together for yourself to wear to a film premiere accompanying Pete Burns. Five minutes is what you've got. Use the knowledge you've gained. Go. Pete is the star. I'm going along in a professional style, so I'm just going to stick with my normal kind of wear, but that is certainly going to be acceptable on a red carpet, but doesn't stand out too much. I feel quite confident about this one. In fact, I've actually probably got too much, so I can't decide which way to go with it. I'm thinking LA, and I've spent a lot of time in LA, and I know it's hot, and I should be thinking London, but I'm thinking LA. Because I've never been to a film premiere, or any sort of premiere, I thought instantly glamour from my perspective that I've always seen in magazines. Normally, I think I would probably go for um, an LBD, but I've not practiced. It's a little black dress. Yeah. Oh, okay, sorry. So I want something that's quite swishy, uh, yeah. but quite simple at the same time, okay. so it's not fussy. My thinking was I didn't want to look like the village tramp. 
You've got like a bit to go with it, but oh, I've yeah. like, yeah, got my bangles. jewelry, I've got my spangles. There's one. Oh, big pearl, Jane. I can't let you know. Great big pearl, look. Is that your love, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go for a smart casual, I think. All right, everybody, your five minutes are up. Come on down and show me your outfits. I wasn't really worried about this task uh, because I think I've got a good dress sense. So uh, I think I'm gonna do really well. Okay, Damon, step forward. I like the suit a lot. Love the shirt and tie. Yeah. Okay, what about the sunglasses? Um, don't wear them, and if you're not gonna wear them, don't carry them. Okay. I really like the white shirt and the pencil skirt. The only disparaging remark I have is the earrings. I don't think they work with the rest of the outfit. You poor thing. <laughs> you have such an earnest expression on your face, but I have to say, you do not look comfortable in what you're wearing. And I don't find it believable. I feel like you're playing dress up. I just don't get the sense of confidence, which you're gonna need. I couldn't believe she ripped into my clothes. I mean, it was quite personal, and uh, what the hell was she wearing anyway? I think the scarf looks awkward. I think it's, it's a little much, mm -hmm. uh, and not much in the way of glitz, just it's, too, it's a little too formal. It's, it's off the mark. It looks like you're going out to a nightclub, and especially with the shades. I mean, no one can see your eyes. If you're trying to get Pete's attention, he won't know where you're looking. Um, it doesn't say professional to me. It says I'm hanging out with the band or I'm going out to the club. It's, it's not good. It's a bit revealing and something a little higher that's not um, quite as tardy. I thought she was bang out of order calling me a tart. Um, I only had a low cut dress on, you know, that doesn't mean that I'm a tart. I fear that people would think that Pete's brought his aunt rather than his assistant. <laughs> I'm sorry to be cruel, but that's just, mm -hmm. just, just the, the look I'm getting. Can you lose the coat and let's see what's underneath? <laughs> we went from seeing nothing but fur to seeing nothing but your chest. So it's, well done, I mean, got one. I, can't hide that. I know. I was quite hurt um, because I feel comfortable in that dress and it suits my frame. I think that jacket's too much. I yeah. think it's too glitzy, it's noisy, it's ungapach, the t-shirt's okay, and I really- To be honest with you, I totally agree with that. Okay, yeah, and I'm then- sure what the hell Can you let Patsy finish? Yeah. Um, it doesn't really say professional to me. Actually, if I really was doing this, I'd probably have a big bag on me, I wouldn't have a jacket on at all. It doesn't really do you any good to come here and say, I coulda, woulda, shoulda. Yeah. I mean, you wear what you think is appropriate. That dress looks like a slip. It doesn't look like a dress, it doesn't have enough structure, um, and I don't think it's becoming to see your breasts just kind of hanging there in between the two, the bodice, it just, it's, it looks too casual, it looks too, I don't know, it looks like you're wearing a slip. You know, it's not nice to hear, but good advice. You know, obviously I'd never wear something like that now to a premiere if I was lucky enough to go. As a celebrity PA, that's not the kind of look you're going for. You're going as a professional. You're going to be mixing with managers, publicists, agents. You're, you're checking for cars. You're checking where the press are. And you're just kind of keeping your client covered. And frankly, I don't think any of them would have done the job in any of those outfits. There was a winner and a loser. Rhea, you are the loser. I think it's clear that you weren't thinking in professional terms when you picked out your outfit and got dressed. You were thinking more in social terms. I don't think Rhea liked it for one moment that she lost. Damon, you're the winner. Yes. You really stood out as someone who made an effort to appear professional. Yes, I'm quite proud actually because I was the one who told Damon what to wear. And uh, that's a bit of a styling tip from Dad, not true. Damon, as a winner, you get to choose members of your team for tomorrow's challenge. So please choose four people and have them stand behind you. Uh, Natalie. Yay! SJ, Shelley, and Denise. I believe Damon picked Denise and SJ because they're strong contenders. And if we lost, there would be a possibility that one of them could go out. Rhea, as the loser, the remaining people will be the members of your team. Each team will be working on styling Pete for a fashion shoot tomorrow. 
I'm so chuffed it was a photo shoot because obviously being a model myself and being in photo shoots all the time, you know, I thought it would be a really good task for me. And here to talk more about the shoot is Andrew Edward Lister, the fashion editor. Uh, for those of you who don't know, AXM is a gay men's monthly magazine. Now, tomorrow's photo shoot is of paramount importance. The winning shoot will appear in the September issue of the magazine, and therefore the styling has to be completed up to scratch. We were then given our theme for the photo shoot. <laughs> Brilliant. Is it? Dead. Dead. Huh? Dead is the choice of uh, fashion. Yeah, it's a positive. Yeah. yeah. No, no, it's good. It's good. It's good. Spend the rest of this afternoon planning your shoot and this evening, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good luck. I think it's a very dangerous challenge for them because I've never used a stylist on a photo shoot before, so this is a first, first for me as well. Um, if they leave me looking like a, a crock of shit or an explosion in a jumble sale, I ain't going to be happy. They've got to make me look good. I want to do the punk dead nut. You're basically saying you're just going to jeopardise our chance, really, aren't you? It's already started that we don't eat dinner together anymore. <laughs> I feel like my ideas are shouted down constantly. By who? Um, by, I don't know, SJ, for example. Every night in the morning, every time I say, no, every time I say, you'll just say, no, 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 no. Well, I get pissed off because I've got probably quite a bit to say and I just feel like I'm not, I haven't said any of it. Knowing that tomorrow they've got to style Pete for a photo shoot, Ria's team are in the garden discussing their theme, which is alive. This whole idea is about the rebirth of not only, you know, not just the alive idea, but it's about the rebirth of his, that's right, you know, the career, and it's, it's a sort of metaphor for him, actually. Yeah. Meanwhile, Damon's team are in the bedroom, brainstorming their theme, which is dead. Pete as Christ. Well, yeah, I was thinking that. I, I love I that, like him, that. like, basically, in the crucifixion mm -hmm. scene. Mm -hmm. I had the theme of doing dead, crossed out, not. Mm -hmm. because, yeah. that, mm. because he's not dead, we're trying to resurrect him, which is why I like the idea of the cross. Mm. Yeah, so, resurrecting, yeah, de de resurrecting the career. Death, sort of death before dishonour as well. Sort of well, also, quite, quite, the resurrection of, of the career. Yeah, yeah. It's about Absolutely. the spiritualism, the yeah. metaphor for alive. Um, yes. it's, yeah. it's the rising of his career, the rising of the sun. I want to do the punk dead not. And I think we need to represent that, you know, have movement within the pictures. Um, so the fountain of youth. Yeah. To represent oh, life. Oh, we could that do thing. one sun sort of light thing and one sort of youth fountain of youth. I mean, we've got we? two we've got shots, two shots, haven't, haven't we? we? I think it's got to be the not dead. Mm -hmm. We've got to be the anti, got to be that punk thing that you and I love. Yeah. Undead. Anti dead. Dead mm. dead and. The colour is important for me for, you know, for being alive. The blood is saying dead or something in, mm. in blood. Or not dead. Yeah. Whatever, yeah. Or resurrection. Yeah, yeah. and white. Obviously, what about resurrection? Because that's got all that um, naughty idea. You know, uh, uh, you can get the word mm. play on that one, can't you? There's lots, there's lots of things you can do. But you get the word play on resurrection. Mm. Uh, I think, mm. to be honest, the Jesus Christ might be just uh, maybe a little bit too, too, too over. You just don't know. You well, don't it could be. Well, I like the word I, resurrection. I think, I resurrection, it's a gay magazine. It's got that kind of slight resurrection thing. Our team decided we weren't going to use the internet and the implications from that meant that actually the other team were going to be banned from using it. You say no to the internet, we can't use it. That, that's basically the name of the game. To be fair, hands on heart, when I came out, I said we don't need the internet. But can you not just say yes so we can use it even if you just, just look through it? For you to say no, you are, you're basically saying you're just going to jeopardise our chance really, aren't you? Uh, we'll discuss it again. We would just say no because we don't actually need to use it. Okay, well, bear in mind if you don't want it, we can't use it. All right, all right. Okay. Cheers. Okay. I think that having decided that we should both be allowed to the internet, we are both allowed to the internet, yeah. and they could decide to not use the internet. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's yeah. the fair yeah. way because yeah. they'd already agreed. They changed their mind. They agreed and they changed their mind. And they changed their mind. So they don't have to, but we will. A trend of love. That's how it is. And the man shall 
they, you know, they, they know they know dinner's here, so it's their own choice. If they don't want to come, then you know it's already started that we don't eat dinner together anymore. <laughs> Shut up! Yeah. Yeah. God, we're here. Well, do you know what? I actually don't want to lose, and and this is competition, and we're not here to make friends. It's horrible. It's just not nice. But as a PA, you're going to make horrible decisions, aren't you? It's the day of the shoot, and the teams have only got two hours and two hundred pounds to get what they need to style Pete. Things like that make you no, like make, make pinning things on. Yeah, make, cool. arranging you the train. You can be the eyes. Yeah. I'll be, I'll, yeah, yeah. Soft, yeah. If that's the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll make up the things like that that yeah. goes with it. Maybe even body stuff. You know, if, you know the Let's on the body. Let's train the outfit. You know, things like that maybe. Is it me or does SJ talk a load of rubbish? Guys, if you just want to start going through stuff, um, see if you can obviously pick anything up. Okay, guys, what do you think? Um, so uh, get reaction now. No, yeah, oh, we've just no. seen. Wow. Oh, oh, that's perfect. What do you think about this, guys? For the sort of like the water effect? I'm wondering if we can cut it up but, um, so that we've got like our water and our flowing thing. We've got different layers here we can use okay. for fabrics and stuff. What do you think? Of we've got some, some fabric. Yeah, we've got some fabric with yeah. us, and maybe we need to concentrate more on getting some fresh new. I think the shoes. Yeah. It's really frustrating actually because um, Ian and I felt really a bit left out. We felt that Rhea and Nikki sort of took over a bit, um, and oh, it's a bit disappointing, really. <laughs> I definitely think that we need to really get to the shop that, you know, where we're going to yeah. find the stuff that we're looking for, otherwise we're just going to be kind of wasting yeah. time. Okay, what, anything in here? No, no, nothing. Sure? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, nice. Yes, yeah. please, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Very nice, very nice shop. God, I can't see your scratches on the That's the other thing, if it's going to scratch Pete. No, 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 it's going to scratch no, Pete. You're gonna, not, we can't really do that, it's going to scratch him. Yeah, we can't. Get him out. Okay. Oh! No, I don't I think the fabric looks cheap as cheap, well. Yeah. Cheap, yeah. Cheap and nice, yeah. It's quite comfortable, actually. <laughs> as soon as I put it on, I was just like, oh my God, I'm standing here in a dress in the middle of a shop in London. Look there, I look at the spider. No? Not, but not the gloves, not these sort of accessories. They're just, they're just too childlike. You they, think? Yeah, I, I really do. And they're, they're like, I, I, I'm 15, I've come out, I've got my pocket and I've come to buy skulls. You know, yeah. I'm, I see what you're saying. Because I'm, I'm, I'm a MySpace cop. I've never had my gloves. It's a shame though, we couldn't go somewhere like. Um, well, we can't, we really can't. So let's move on. <laughs> Sorry, Nat. We, you know, we can't go there. Natalie has been very negative. All I'm hearing from her is, oh, if only we could do this, you know. Oh, if only, but there are no open phonies. They have 200 pounds, they've got another 25 minutes or so, and they have to make some decisions. Okay, guys, should we just take it as a perhaps maybe we need something? Well, we're wasting money though. I'm just concerned with you. How much is it? 30 pounds. Oh, it's a lot. We're in the second shop. We've got one more shop to go to. So why don't we try that again? Are we not allowed to come back to the shop? Yeah, why don't we just try it first? No, we can come back. We can. Oh, we're not buying it. I don't think we should buy it. No, we're going to be now. We've exhausted all our money. Okay, we've come up with, you've got some stunning pieces. We could shop here all day, but we're on a time limit, I'm afraid. What we've come up with are these two pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, this is great, it's eight pounds. We've got this one for, and this one ten. What I'm wondering is, knowing the fact that it's for a photo shoot, it's for a, a good celebrity, it's going to be all over the world. <laughs> Perhaps do us a deal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a bit short of cash, we're very limited, just four people. We haven't got much money. Would you do us it? Will you do us it both for a tenner? Okay. That's great. Thank you very much. Thank Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. This is the other Two Marilyn Monroe. Well, we're, we're just... Yeah. Yeah. Not, 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 not with her. We're not going for the kind. No, we're not. We're going to, for that. We're going to go for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm loving that. That's yeah. right. These are 80 pounds. I'll get a deal. Right. And um, these, I like the style of these. 
Uh, yeah, everything I said was was just not being listened to, and uh, it happened time and time again. Uh, I just felt very fed up, really, I suppose. Is there any possibility of um, loaning us the shoe? I have for the shoe. Okay. Yeah, sure because if we stood on fabric and everything. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's brilliant. Thanks. Um, I think the would be great for our... Uh, yeah. It would be. Yeah. We, just, yeah. we don't get to any other shots. Exactly. We don't we... know how much time we've got. Okay, yeah, that's fine. You can load them. Thank you. Oh, oh thank, thank you. you very much. I think Nikki is definitely taking control. She is loving this challenge. This, is, this has got her name written all over it. It's just yeah. nail varnish we're really no, need. I don't think so. Why not? Let's look what they've got. Let's keep looking. Let's have a look. Let's just see what they've got. Yeah? It's very hard working in groups, isn't it? And no, forget. Forget nail varnish. Forget. 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 Wow. Forget. SJ doesn't, you know, listen to a word that we say. It's, it's all her idea, you know, everything's all about her. I sense there's a bit of kind of tension here, so that you're not well, that happy. Well, running out, time's running um, out. I feel like my ideas are shut down constantly. By who? Um, by, I don't know, SJ, for example. Well, everything I, everything I say, yeah. no, everything I say, you're just saying, no, 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 no. No, so we've, we had this discussion yesterday. That was the whole point of yesterday, not today. That we were being really, really sure that we weren't going to do hair and makeup. We were almost definitely... Not, okay, not, not makeup. I'm absolutely. Makeup. I said the nurse. I'm fixed on nails. But it's good to have backup, like you said. Yeah, so yeah, that's why we're doing that. And yeah, that's okay, what we're doing. Let's go then. <laughs> Still don't look entirely happy. No, I'm fine. Let's go. My patients are really starting to fray, and, um, and I've been, I think I've been really, really patient. What happened to Stan is that Natalie drifts a lot, and she's got great ideas, but we spent all of last night sanding things out, and we had a really clear shopping list. We brought it out with us. We absolutely decided that we would not veer away from the shopping list. Uh, this is... Uh, I don't know, it'll do, it'll yeah. work. Hi. Some material. Hello. Can you help us? We were up to get some material. We need some, some kind of uh, lightweight material that will flow with a fan, so like a silky kind of, but it's got to be pure, uh, like a pure white. white. Yeah. yeah? Right. Can we come in? Thank you. Thank you. SJ was getting on everyone's nerves, so Dame decided to be the big man and to take her aside and have a word with her. First of all, it's task, yeah. yeah. And we just, can you just be, just take a chill pill almost? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean there, are, there are a few people on the team who are getting quite, quite upset, almost quite irritated by, by, by the SJ that we love. Okay, no, that's uh, Obviously, we need, we need, we need, we need to hear everybody's inputs as well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and at the moment, I think they're feeling as though it's a bit. Bah, 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 bah. That's fair enough. You know, and they, I can't have that. And she didn't react very favourably to it. All it is is sometimes you can feel a little bit, seem like a bit overpowering where you're saying... You are, you are a very strong character. Well, you yeah, are a very strong character. Okay, you are a very strong character. It's almost like other people feel like their opinions are laughed off and it's like, no, people's opinions are laughed off. No, never laughed off. I'm just thinking, God, I'm really excited. I'm focused on this. No, I know that. I know that. In the car, Estre wound me up so much because she just wouldn't listen to anyone. It was all about her. I was pissed off earlier because it's meant to be a team effort and I, I, I just, everything was no, 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 no. Well, I get pissed off because I've got probably quite a bit to say and I just feel like I'm not, I haven't said any of it. Well, you know, we all get our moments, don't we? No, and, I'm, and I was short man as well, so, sure. my God, so. But, I mean, for me, it's all for the good, it's never for the bad. All we want is just a extra few words, though. Just, is that, is just, that just to make but sure that you're not, you're not overshadowed just, almost. I'm, I'm yeah. even trying, you know, I'm no, not I know even you're not no, 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 you're not no, trying I know. to do it. That's, that's you. Right. right. We couldn't even finish a single sentence. And it's a pity that you've had to speak to me like that, because actually I bring a lot to these kind of things. I know, I know. And I have such a wealth of experience at this. We felt like I'd been chucked into a cat fight, and what it created was a complete emotional breakdown. Not breakdown, that sounds far too dramatic, but... I just wanted to get the hell out of here. I feel sorry for us as well, though, because yeah. you can't make a silk purse of a pig's ear. I'm fucking mortified, and if I just had one of those, they wouldn't even be standing here to turn to. Rhea's team have arrived at the studio for the magazine photo shoot, and they head straight to the dressing room to pitch their ideas to Pete and his crew. <laughs> His team include his fiancée, Michael Simpson, top New York-based stylist, Patty Trujillo, magazine fashion editor, Andrew Edward Lister, and celebrated fashion photographer, Frederick Aranda, who worked with Donatella Versace, done campaigns for Louis...
Lee for Vogue magazine. Okay, so tell me what you got abroad. Okay, so the first concept was thinking about alive being the fountain of youth. That everybody else who don't drink from the the fountain of youth is left rotting at the side, whereas you will be reborn. Um, you've got a plastic surgeon here. No, no. <laughs> Please believe me, it's all done with scalpels and syringes. <laughs> We're going to do today with beautiful fabric. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mia and Nikki uh, wouldn't stop talking, so I decided to take a step back. Uh, so it'd be better for the team because too many people talking, it just wasn't going to win us the task. The second idea was thinking about the rebirth of life, so we were going to bring in um, lighting. Um, You've really tried here, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. we've brought in um, the colours. We, what we would like to do was reflect the, we thought you had a beautiful kind of alabaster purity to you with the redness of your lips against the heart. And our idea was that you were holding your life in your hand and that you wore your heart on the sleeve because of the, the job that you do. We've got absolutely reams of beautiful um, white fabric. And what did I say in the bank this morning if the Clavadilla got me fabric? It seems to be all about Rhea and Nikki and um, I didn't feel that Ian and I were allowed to get involved at all and we felt very put to the bottom actually. Of the two ideas, I'm going to go with the loose fabric and I think he did really, really well. Uh, oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Really well. Just going through the draping and the Grecian themes, I think it would suit and fit in perfectly with not just the magazine, but Pete himself. So what we're going to do what? is like a toga. Okay, okay. Yeah. do it. Go for it. And I'll start to walk away at the shoulder. Go ahead, run the shoulder. Do it. Are going to go over the shoulder or run? This is worse than getting a fucking ah. rectal examination. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm so pleased with what you came up with. I really am. And I know this is really tough for you to make a garment out of fabric. Ian and I felt we had absolutely no hope whatsoever. We were told to look after the step, which is fine, but Rhea and Nikki, of course, were in there with Pete. We were just left to our own devices, really, and uh, completely ignored. <laughs> With Pete on set, Damon's team arrived to keep their eye on the competition. There's no full-length mirror around that you can wheel out here, is there? Excuse me, is there a full-length mirror you can wheel out here so no one can do the garment? All I could hear was Pete shouting for a mirror, so I went and got one off the wall and uh, ended up keeping Pete happy, so I was really pleased. Ian, you're going to have to like, be good with that mirror. I don't care if you kill the top over there. <laughs> Keep it behind him so I can see. Tilt it to me. Oh, beautiful. The mean one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's happy, we clicked, he's working it. It's all meshing really, really well. I couldn't be happier at the moment. Definitely want to win. I was in the losing team the first go. I really think we've found a good chance with this one. I think our team deserves to win. It couldn't have gone any better. Um, it was perfect. When I walked in and saw all the beautiful material flowing and how crisp and just clean and classy everything looked, mm. I was absolutely mortified with our mm. bag of Lycra Queen yeah. gear. Whatever the reservations, it's time for Damon's team to pitch their ideas to Pete. The first idea we had was to have you in a rather stunning flowy red dress, and maybe with the backdrop as well, because of the gay, gay magazine, having the words dead straight written behind you, maybe you can like, almost like, react to the words behind, mm. something like that. Can I see the... Yeah, uh, certainly. <laughs> this is the uh, red outfit we, we got for you. It's great because it's got lots of uh, lots of quite flow, flow material. I must admit, this would not be my choice of fabric in a million years, but we only had three goth shots. But SJ again wanted to get noticed, so, you know, she stood in front of Pete, she said, this is the outfit we've got, but you can wear it like this, like that. But, you know, she kind of just took over, and I just think, at the end of the day, we're working as a team. You know, let everyone have a say. Because we're thinking dead straight. 
<laughs> well, I've got to say right now, the backdrop, the idea of the backdrop is, is crap. I'm not okay. going to get involved in all that, right. you know, the politics about straight, gay. Oh, that's fine. Crap. That wasn't really important. Really. Should we look at the next outfit and see? Second choice we, we've gone for is um, a rather iconic image, rather controversial image of you being crucified. Mm. Um, we like the idea... Funny, I've already done that. Actually, actually on cross. Yeah, I just did a big photo shoot in Australia that was very controversial. Okay. The second us we've chosen is, uh, see it's white, there's lots of cutaways, lots, when, of, lots when, of flow. When does Shirley Bassey want it back? Um, by the six o'clock tonight. Okay. Um, <laughs> we, we, we can incorporate um, with the idea of... A nice pin strike to separate. Nice. You can incorporate some, 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 some blood, maybe, onto on the seat. If your arms are up being crucified, by the moon, that's just... I'll try out the red one. In the interest of it being a conversation, I'll try on the red one. But I wouldn't go near the white one, I wouldn't be in the floor. Yeah, that was just all full. So, so destroying. Yeah, a hard pitch. A hard, hard pitch, I thought. I'm fucking mortified. And if I'd have said what I thought, they wouldn't even be standing here to turn to ash. I don't think he liked any, he didn't no. like any of them, did I it? felt sorry for him, to be honest. Mm. I felt yeah. really sorry for him. I feel sorry for us as well, though, because yeah. you can't make a silk purse out of a pig's ear. The white one was like a prostitute from King's Cross. The red one was a vile shade of red. It was so nylon, and my fucking hair's nylon. I'm nylon. So the whole situation is going to be fucking static, isn't it? I mean, the last time I had this feeling was the first day at boarding school, and only I had a whole term's worth of clothes, all wrong. What really grieved on me was, I think it's SJ, just for the whole time shaking her head and apologising for their choices. Hi, uh, it, well, it's, I'm getting a bit hyperactive, I've had a coffee OD, it's not as bad as I thought. Out on the studio floor, Damon and the rest of the team wait to see if Pete's going to go ahead with the rest of the shoot. So I do like it when someone's checking the scenes, knowing that they are going to check the scenes, telling me to tuck in. I appreciate that because sometimes you can't, but he does have that mirror, which is brilliant. Yeah. person in the group that sort of tried to take charge and I was a bit sort of disappointed with that because we all had some really good ideas. The first photo shoot went fantastically well and I didn't think that the second photo shoot was going to have a chance but now I, I do think they're in the running, definitely. Although SJ was pleased with the photo shoot, the earlier clash with the rest of her team is still playing on her mind. I'm upset that I don't like hearing it. It's all in my time. It messes with you. And you're so oh, just so it. It's just not one of these people. It just messes with you a bit. I've never had to be one of these people. I've never had the best life in all the world. You know? I've done the most successful things than I could have ever dreamt of doing by being nice. So, do you want to have a look at the photographs? Yeah, I'd really like to. Oh, see God. <laughs> Ready, boys and girls? This is really, really difficult. But it's a job, not a game. It's morning in the PA house, and the candidates are anxious about the upcoming elimination. 
I think I'm the only one in the whole household who is optimistic about our team winning, which is a shame. I think me and Debbie could be up for elimination if, uh, if our team loses. I am quite nervous actually about the eliminations. Um, I'm going to be very upset if Ian or I are eliminated because we weren't given the chance and we were just pushed out and we weren't able to shine. I'm just hoping that I'm not going home today. I hope SJ goes because I've just had it up to here with her. It's time for Pete Burns, Rob Young and Donna Cooling to decide which one of the remaining nine candidates will not become Pete's PA. Hi everyone. Um, it's time to find out which one of you hasn't got what it takes to be my PA and that person will have to leave the house immediately. This week, your task was to style me for a magazine photo shoot. So, Rob, how did it all go? Well, I was observing Damon's team, and there were a couple of mistakes. So, for example, you know, you didn't do as much blagging, as much discounting. You, know, you got 10% discount. No discount. But, but for a photo shoot, you know, you should be getting like 50, 60% discounts. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when the item was actually on, Pete managed to work it, made it look really good. So, do you want to have a look at the photograph? Yeah, I'd really like to oh see it. <laughs> Ready, boys and girls? Mm -hmm. That's that's really really great. I'm really pleased with that. And uh, yeah, really really shocked because the the, the garments I've managed to pull it into a good shape. The colour's great. The composition's great. They've made that little platform for me to stand on, which they could have ironed, but ultimately I don't think that's. <laughs> could have ironed me as well, but uh, ultimately I don't think that's important. So I think that's a really great graphic shot and it really jumps out at you. I'm thrilled with that one. Donna, tell me everything. Well, I was with Ria's team. They did really well. They blagged loads of stuff. We had loads of free stuff. Oh, blagging, we got Down freebies. to Nikki, yeah. We had loads of money left over. So would you like to have a look? Yeah, I'd really like to have a look. Would you like to have a look? <laughs> Whoa, that's, that's really, really, really great. That's fantastic. My criticism of that, looking at it, is is the green fabric and, and the vase. It looks like the vase has fallen over and the green fabric looks kind of messy. As a, as a white on white shot with just the red flower as a detail, that would be absolutely great. So it's a very tough choice to choose, really. I've got to choose the winner. It could have gone either way, but ultimately the picture is everything. So the winner is... Damon's team. Congratulations, you can leave the room. Oh my god, I'm very, very tearful. I think the tears are a joy of sort of um, happiness, really, because obviously I had my heart set on the fact that we were going to lose. We won the top, so bloody hell. But I have to say, I am absolutely in shock. Right, I'm going to have to eliminate one of you today. Um, now you've got another chance to each individually step forward and tell me why you think you should be my PA. Okay, Ria. Okay, I know the shot wasn't great. I absolutely know that now seeing it. Um, I didn't want to insult the photographer yesterday by taking over and looking through the lens, which is normally what I would be doing. And um, we tried to come up with something creative, which is what we believe that you are. You're an artist. Thank you. And okay. We okay, that's enough. Okay. <laughs> Nikki. Uh, yeah, um, I would try to work as a team player. I managed to get a few blinds, which is a bonus, I hope. That's fantastic, really. From this, it, what I'm going to say is that I will learn and I will go on to become a better person because I can't be perfect the first time. Jabs. Well, I'd just like to say I felt that we worked really, really hard together. We worked excellently as a team. Um, we did everything we could to support Rhea the very best we possibly could, and we were on her side every single moment of the way. And I thought she was an excellent team leader, and um, I'd still like to be your PA. <laughs> well. Okay, okay, Deb, thank you. Ian? I've built so much confidence from just the beginning to now. I just I want to continue just to 
keep building on that and show you I can do more. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Now we come to the worst part of the day. We're going to put our heads together, and when you come back into the room, you'll find out which one of you hasn't got the job, and that person will have to leave the room and leave the house immediately. So please leave the room now. It's not, it's not overall, it's not overall, and that's yeah. not the game. It's not fair. I'm absolutely gutted, I'm so sorry. It's not Rio, it's not you. Yeah, exactly. I just feel gutted at the moment, just at all the effort that we did put in through the whole day, it just seems like it's just been taken away. Just gutted. I found this really tough. Can you help me out here? How do you think Ria was in this task? Uh, Ria was great. This this is her forte. This is what she does. She's into photography. She is now torturing herself out there because she can't believe what huge blunders she, she made. But given that if you say that photography is her big passion, then surely that makes the mistake even more unforgivable because she really should have known that she should have told the photographer, you know, I want to check what it looks like. But maybe she felt intimidated by his status. But given that she's already got six years of experience as a celebrity PA, doesn't, make, doesn't that make it even more unforgivable? You know, people like Debs, Ian, they don't, and they're learning so much more quickly than she is, it seems. What about Debs? Um, she's, she's extremely timid. She has to be led. I'm not sure that she's that assertive. So she's lacking initiative and she needs to be led. I believe so, yeah. But, but she's lovely. Exactly. As a person, she's very good-natured. She's very. She'd keep you very calm. She'd be very loyal, reliable. Okay, give me the deal about Ian. Well, it wasn't really Ian's challenge. He, it was out of his league. But he, he's just so sweet-natured. He's happy to help. He's so eager to learn. What did he do? In the, what was his part in this task? Um, they used him as a mannequin because they didn't know your sizes. So he willingly, in the middle of the shop, stripped off and, and put on a boob tube dress. Did he look good in it? He looked fabulous. And, okay. you know, and he, wasn't, he didn't bat an eyelid at all. He was perfectly happy. He um, carried everything that the girls had blagged. Well, it's kind of a painful and difficult decision, but common sense gets the better of me, and I think I've made my mind up. Here in my hands, I've got one of your CVs, and that person has not been successful. Ria, it's clear that you started off at the top of the pack, but this is the second time in a row that you've led a losing team. Nikki, your drive, enthusiasm, determination and courage were admirable. But I'm looking for winners, not losers. Debbie, your energy, your personality, everything about you is, is really lovely and adorable to be around. But on the day of the shoot, I felt that you became a little invisible and that's kind of a letdown. Ian. I hear you were a great clothes horse and you looked fabulous in a boob tube but you were lacking a bit of sparkle and I wasn't that aware of you being there either and this is really, really difficult but it's a job, not a game. Debbie, you're not going to be my PA. I don't cry, don't cry, make me cry. <laughs> I still think oh, I make a very good PA to somebody. If there's somebody out there who'd like me. He did say it was lovely to have her around and I had lots of energy and I was great fun, which happens to count for a lot, so... That's okay. I'll, I'll find somewhere else where I'm wanted. I just want to say that you all did great on Thank that. So much. And it's going to get harder for me. We'll get better. Yeah. Okay. We'll be all right. Now, <laughs> beat it. Oh, okay. You're right. Yeah. Well, she's a lady. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's a lady. Yeah. 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 Ye
With Debbie eliminated, only eight candidates remain. Who will be Pete's PA? Next time on Pete's PA. Wow, yeah! It's all about teamwork. Oh, that was all over me. <laughs> <laughs> Pete's shopping task causes tempers to fray. I, I really, really kiss their ass. Just get him that. Right. Pete says what he really thinks. But well, we said they were nice, so we're really too faced. We should have thrown them at them. And it's dog eats bitch in elimination. It's about taking each other out. Get rid of the all fucking bitches. Send them right out the fucking door. Goodbye. Well, there's only room for one big old bitch in this, and that's me. I think Pete's just a big old softy, really. And the next episode of Pete Burns PA is next Monday at 10. And this is the important bit over on Living 2. And stay with us now for CSI Vegas. 